coming to meet his believing people. Prompted by the Holy Spirit, Simeon and Anna came to the temple. Enlightened by the same Spirit, they recognized the Lord and confessed him with exaltation. So let us also gather together by the Holy Spirit, proceed to the house of God to encounter Christ. There we shall find him and recognize him in the breaking of the bread until he comes again revealed in glory. We are now going to bless the candles today being the feast we traditionally call Candelaria. Let us pray. O God, source and origin of all lights, who in this day showed to the just man, Simeon, the light for revelation to the Gentiles, we humbly ask that in answer to your people's prayers, you may be pleased to sanctify with your blessing these candles which we are eager to carry in praise of your name, so that treating the path of virtue, we may reach that light which never fails, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, we humbly implore your majesty that just as your only begotten Son was presented on this day in the temple, in the substance of our flesh, so by your grace we may be presented to you with minds made pure through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Malachi. Thus says the Lord God, Lo, I am sending my messenger to prepare the way before me, and suddenly there will come to the temple the Lord whom you seek, and the messenger of the covenant whom you desire. Yes, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts, but who will endure the day of his coming? And who can stand when he appears? For he is like the refiner's fire or like the fuller's lie. He will sit refining and purifying silver and he will purify the sons of Levi, refining them like gold or like silver, that they may offer due sacrifice to the Lord. Then the sacrifice of Judah and Jerusalem will please the Lord, as in the days of old, 
as in years gone by. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Lift up, O gates, your lintels, reach up your ancient portals, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Lift up, O gates, your lintels, reach up, you ancient portals, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Since the children share in blood and flesh, Jesus likewise shared in them that through death he might destroy the one who has the power of death, that is the devil, and free those who through fear of death had been subject to slavery all their life. Surely he did not help angels, but rather the descendants of Abraham. Therefore, he had to become like his brothers and sisters in every way, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest before God to expiate the sins of the people, because he himself was tested through what he suffered. He is able to help those who are being tested. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. A light of revelation to the Gentiles and glory for your people, Israel. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the days were completed for their purification according to the law of Moses, Mary and Joseph took Jesus up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, just as it is written in the law of the Lord, every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord, and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons in accordance with the dictate in the law of the Lord. Now there, now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Christ of the Lord. He came in the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, he took him into his arms and blessed God, saying, Now, Master, you may let your servant go in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you prepared in sight of all the peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles, and the glory for your people Israel. The child's father and mother were amazed at what was said about him, and Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be contradicted. And you yourself, a sword will purse, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. There was also a prophetess, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Asher. She was advanced in years, having lived seven years with her husband after her marriage, and then as a widow until she was 84. 
She never left the temple, but worshipped night and day with fasting and prayer. And coming forward at that very time, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were waiting the redemption of Jerusalem. When they had fulfilled all the prescriptions of the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Kung kailan pa tumanda si Simeon, doon pa lumutang at lumitaw ang kanyang pagka-photogenic. Alam niyo yung salitang photogenic, salitang Ingles, pero ang original niyan ay eh dalawang salitang Griego. Photogenes. Ano ibig sabihin ng photo? Liwanag. Genes. Sinilang. Kaya, yung pinaghangu ang salita ng photogenic sa Griego, ibig sabihin, isinilang ka sa liwanag. Kaya ganyan ang gamit ko ngayon, yung sinabi kong si Simeon ay photogenic. Wala pang mga kamera noon. Kaya hindi ko pwedeng sabihin photogenic si Simeon na ang konteksto ay kamera. Masasabi ko lang na photogenic si Simeon sapagkat siya ay isinilang sa liwanag at tumanda siyang naghihintay ng liwanag. Kaya nga ba hindi siya namamatay hanggat hindi natutupad ang pangako sa kanya ng Panginoon na masisilayan niya ang liwanag bago siya mamatay, ang pangakong Mesiyas at tagapagligtas ng mundo. Kaya nung makita ni Simeon, ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo, sanggol na inalay sa templo, sabi niya, maaari na akong lumisan, Panginoon, nasilayang ko na ang liwanag ng sanglibutan, walang dili iba kundi ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Photogenic. Kaya pag sinasabi natin photogenic, ibig sabihin natin ngayon, yung mga taong kapag ka nilitrato mo, maganda ang labas. ba? Diba? Gwapo o gwapa sa litrato. Sabi natin, uy, photogenic. O yun, photogenic. Bakit? Sapagat alam niyo yung mga kamera, iyan, ang pamamaraan ng pagkuha ay sa pamamagitan ng liwanag. Kita niyo yung mga cellphone ninyo, may liwanag pag kumukuha kayo ng literato. Bakit ka niyo? Sapagkat kung photogenic ka, mahusay, pulido ang pagkahahabi ng iyong muka. Ha? Kaya pagtalbog ng liwanag, pulido rin ang pagtalbog ng liwanag na kinokopya ng mga kamera ninyo. Kaya paglabas, na na-develop na yan, pulido rin ang labas. Sa makatwid, punto por punto, kapag ka-photogenic kayo, at inyong sinalikop yung dalawang parte ng mukha ninyo, punto por punto yan, magdadaup yan. Kaya pag kinunang kayo ng litrato, at yung liwanag tumalbog doon sa inyong mukha, yung liwanag, alam na alam kung saan tatalbog, at kung saan makokopya yung mukha ninyo, pulido. Oh. Pero kung di kayo photogenic, pag pinagsalikop niyo yung mukha ninyo, hindi punto por punto, bako bako, ah, hindi nagsasalikop, litong lito yung liwanag. Kapag ka tumalbog sa inyong mukha, at yun ang kokopyohin, yung kalituhan ng liwanag sa pagtagbog sa mukha ninyo. Kaya nga natatawa ako minsan eh. Kapag kami kumukuha ng litrato at hindi nila nagustuhan yung produkto ng kamera, kung sino-sino sinisisi, kung ano-ano, sila sabi, ay, wala namang kwenta yung kamera ang kumuha nito. Ay, hindi naman sana yung kumuha ng litratista na gumawa nito. Ay, marami sinisisi. Hindi mo natingnan yung mga mukha nila kung sila photogenic o hindi. Paano mo malalaman yan? Iharap mo sa liwanag. Magsindi ka ng kandila. 
Kung kayo may brown out, magsindi kayo ng kandila. Ilagay nyo dyan sa ilalim ng inyong baba. Pag yung liwanag na yan, nahati, na perpekto sa mukha ninyo, hating-hati, o, na yung mga kasambahin ninyo, pag nakita kayo naglalakad, na may liwanag dyan sa baba nyo, at nakita kayo humanga, at napamangha at nagsabing, Uy, diwata ng liwanag. Photogenic kayo. Pero kapag ka nagsindi kayo ng kandila, nilagay nyo sa may baba ninyo, at nagtakbuhan lahat yung mga kasambahay ninyo, at nagsisigaw, aswa ang impakto, hindi kayo photogenic. Ganun lang kasimple. Titingnan ang liwanag. Hahanap kayo sa liwanag para makita kung kayo ay photogenic o hindi. Sapagkat ang liwanag, hindi nagsisinungaling. Ha? Kapag ka humarap sa liwanag, kung ano kulay ninyo, yun at yun ang lilitaw. Kung dilaw kayo, lilitaw ang pagkadilaw ninyo. Kung pula kayo, lilitaw ang pagkapula ninyo. Kung berdi kayo, lilitaw ang pagkaberdi ninyo. Kung pink kayo, lilitaw ang pagkapink ninyo. Kaya sinabi ni Simeon kay Maria, sinabi niya, ang isang parang masamang balita tungkol sa ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Sabi niya, yung magandang balita, itong batang ito ay magiging liwanag ng sanglibutan. Good news. Ang bad news, eto, dahil siya ay liwanag, magiging sanhi siya ng pagtutuligsaan at pagkakahati-hati ng mga tao sa sanglibutan. Ayan. Bakit kanya? Hindi lahat gustong tanggapin ang liwanag. Ang liwanag hindi nagsisinungaling. Ang ating Panginoong Yesu Kristo ay liwanag. Sabi niya sa kanyang sarili, sa Ebanghelyo ni San Juan, I am the light. I am the truth, the way, and the light. Liwanag. Pero hindi lahat gusto ng liwanag. Yung mga pangit, gusto laging blackout at brownout. Walang ilaw. Bakit? Sapagkat kapag ka laging may ilaw, nahahalata ang pagkapangit nila. Kapag kayaan, madilim, lahat maitim. Wala kang masasabing maganda, pangit, lahat pare-pareho. Pero pag nilagyan mo ng liwanag, ay naku, hindi nagsasinungaling ang liwanag, sasabihin kung sino ang pangit at kung sino ang maganda. At yung mga pangit hindi makatanggap ng kanilang kapangitan, ah, 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 mga galit yan. Ngayon, ang sinasabi ko rito, hindi yung pangit ang mukha. Ah. Talinghaga ito, metaphor. Ang sinasabi ko, yung mga taong may tinatago sa kanilang budhe, masama ang kalooban na may kasinungalingan sa kanilang buhay, na nililihim sa mga tao't nagkukunwari. Iyan ang mga tao nagkukubli. Ayaw ng liwanag yan. Kaya nung dumating ang ating Panginoong Yesu Kristo, hindi lahat nagmahal sa ating Panginoon. Yun lang mga photogenic. Si Simeon, si Maria, si Jose, si Ana. Oh, puro yan mga naghihintay sa liwanag. Yan ang reunion ng mga photogenic sa templong yon nung araw na yon. Pero yung mga pangit, yung mga may tinatago, patayin ang liwanag. Patayin ang liwanag. O, ayun nga, tinangka nilang patayin ang liwanag. Pinako ang ating Panginoong Yesu Kristo ng mga taong may masasamang budhe. Eh mapapatay mo ba katotohanan? O, kapag ka kayo nagsinungaling ng isa, dadagdagan nyo pa ng isa para makubli yung isa nyong kasinungalingan at mababaong kayo sa kasinungalingan pero bandang huli yung katotohanan 
ang lilitaw. Oh, pinatay nila liwanag. Ano nangyari? Ikatlong araw, nabuhay na maguli. Kaya babala sa mga taong may kinukubli. Mister, hmm, may lihim ba kayo kay misis? Ako. Misis, may lihim ba kayo kay mister? Mga anak, oh, mayroon ba kayo di pinagtatapat sa magulang? Mga magulang, ano? Yan ba, dadali nyo sa inyong libingan. Paano kayo haharap sa liwanag? Paano tayo haharap sa Diyos? Hindi tayo makakaharap sa Diyos. Siya ay liwanag. Ano gagawin natin? Tatalikod tayo sa liwanag. Tatakas tayo. O subukin ninyong tumalikod sa liwanag. Ano mangyayari? Ayan, magsindi kayo ng kandila pag may brown out. Talikuran nyo yung may sinding kandila. Pag talikod nyo, ano makikita nyo? Anino? Anino nyo na mas malaki pa kesa sa inyo? Monstruous. Nakakatakot na anino ninyo. Napagkat tumalikod kayo sa liwanag. Tatakbuhan nyo? Pagtakbo nyo, kasama nyo yung aninong ginawa nyo. Hindi kayo makakatakas. E sino gumawa ng aninong yun? Hindi tayo. Bakit? Tinalikuran natin ang liwanag eh. And dali-dali naman tanggalin yung anino sa buhay natin. Ah, paano? Bumaligtad kayo, humarap uli kayo sa liwanag. Pagharap nyo sa liwanag, wala nang anino. Ganun lang kadali. Aminin. Yun lang naman ang solusyon. Aminin. At kung may pagkukulang, humingi ng tawad. Paano kang pamapatawad kung di mo aaminin? Nako, ang dahil mga tao ngayon ayaw umamin. Oh, kaya puro anino. One lie upon another. Kasinungalingan. Dadagdagan pa ng another. Kasinungalingan, kasinungalingan, kasinungalingan. Aaminin lang. Para mapatawad. Aaminin lang. Kaya tingnan nyo sa misa, ano una natin ginagawa? Inaamin. Nagkukumpisal ako sa Diyos. O, diba yun ang una nating dasal? I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters. Ihaharap ka sa Diyos na liwanag eh. Eh kung puro ka anino, Ha, dala-dala mo yung anino. Paano mo maiaalay ang liwanag mo? Eh, madali lang naman yun. Haharap ka sa Diyos. Tatanggapin mo yung liwanag niya. Wow, wala na yung anino. At aaminin mong nagkasala ka. Kaya huwag nyo nang hinantayin na kayo'y ilibing pa. Na hindi nyo nasasabi ang mga lihim na dapat sana'y noong pa'y inamin na natin. Simple lang ang mapatawad. Sabi natin, mahirap magpatawad. Madali lang mang magpatawad kung yung nagkakasala ay umaamin. Kaya lang mahirap magpatawad yung nagkasala. Ayaw umamin. Kaya tayo nabubuhay sa anino. Ngayon, nagdiriwang tayo ng kapistahan ng liwanag. Simula ang ating ritual sa pagbabasbas ng inyong mga kandila. Dito, ang dami mga nagtutulos ng kandila. Dito, sa Manawag. Ang aking pag-asa, 
Sana hindi lang kandila yung liwanag. Sana yung mga nagtutulos ng kandila sa kanilang mga sarili ay liwanag din. Maliwanag. Maliwanag at hindi madilim. But we all stand to offer our prayers. For every intention, we are going to say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may show to the world the true face of Christ and be a sign of salvation to all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those in authority may render selfless service to society, have the courage to speak and act in the name of truth and justice, and bear witness to the love of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may be inspired by the obedience of our Lady and Saint Joseph to always observe the precepts of the Church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That fathers and mothers may inspire their children to follow Christ by their own examples. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our beloved dead may go forth into God's peace and rejoice forever with Mary and all the saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Almighty Father, grant us the courage to face the light so that we may be able to accept the grace of Jesus Christ who will bring us to light the love without deceit, the love that is true, now and through all eternity, we ask this in the name of your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the offering made with exaltation by your church be pleasing to you, Lord, we pray, for which that your only begotten Son be offered to you for the light of the world as a lamb without blemish, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For your co-eternal Son was presented on this day in the temple 
and revealed by the Spirit as the glory of Israel and the light of the nations. And so we too go forth rejoicing to encounter your salvation and with the angels and saints praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and ministered to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francisco, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Pidelis, our Auxiliary Bishop, Gerard, the Master of the Order of Preachers and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her beloved spouse, with the Blessed Apostle, Saint Dominic, and Saint Francis, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom come, thy will, thy will be done, done on earth, earth as it is in heaven. In heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. And, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver, but deliver us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer one another the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Peace be with you.
Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this communion. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please kneel for the prayer for the elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together, deliver us, Lord. From coercion, violence, and terrorism, from dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together, hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. By these holy gifts which we have received, O Lord, bring your grace to perfection within us, and as you fulfill Simeon's expectation that he would not see death and 
till he had been privileged to welcome the Christ, so may we going forth to meet the Lord obtain the gift of eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Kami po ay taus pusong nagpapasalamat sa isyung lahat na nakisas sa amin sa ating pagdiliwang ng Santa Eucharistia. Nawa'y pagpatuloy nyo po ang pagdarasal para sa mga lingkod ninyo na nagsisilbi dito sa Basilica Minore of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag. At makakaasa kayong pinagdadasal din namin kayo at ang inyong mga minamahal sa buhay. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now please join us as we pray for the blessing of the sick and then afterwards for the blessing of your religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness towards our sick and aging brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness. Restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.